Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to um, a, a slightly different uh, video today. Uh, I am Lucky Sixes with, of course, as always, Mr. Hyper G. A very excited Hyper G. Hello everyone. Yes, and with a third member, uh, someone we've worked with a lot over the past, uh, had to take a little bit of a break and is now back, Pitelio. Hoo hoo hoo, hello everybody. So Legend has here. entered the house. Now, now, of course, you are here on uh, official Essence of War um, uh, duty, I guess, today. Um, uh, but how have you been, sir? Oh, it has, I've been missing the Ninth Age all along. I've been, yeah. I've been a bit far away from the forum, but luckily the other guys on my team, they have done like a splendid job and a crazy amount of work. So by the time I finished my relocation to a different country, to a different continent, and all the, uh, the complications that were associated with that. I managed to come back and I saw this wonderful garden full of flowers of design and of layout and of playtesting. So I was very, very happy. And now today I'm here to reap the fruits of their hard work together with you guys <laughs> and play a game with it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, this, I guess, um, in that regard, uh, marks um, one of our part of our Essence of War week where we are going to be talking to some of them as well. Uh, so do, I'll do it early, like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see if you're interested in Essence of War, uh, which is, of course, is the beginner's uh, version of Ninth Age Fantasy Battles, um, then do uh, do that because we've got a load of stuff coming at you. Um, but yes, we are here for Essence of War on that. Uh, and we are here today to have a battle because... Mm -hmm. What better way to find out whether it's a good game or whether we like the stuff than actually have a battle? Uh, and of course, we've had battles in the past and things like that. Uh, but this is the new release of the new version of the Essence Four. Definitely, definitely. So there's there's been there's been a lot of work behind the behind the scenes because there were a few things that we needed to update. There's been new uh, faction books that came out for Fantasy Battles, and so we needed to update stuff with respect to that. There's some new ideas of directions that Fantasy Battle might take in the future, so we wanted to anticipate some of those changes. And plus, there has been feedback from the community on the Ninth Age Forum telling us, the designers, that they liked some aspects of Essence of War, but they didn't like some of the other aspects, and so we were taking notes. Every single line of feedback has yeah. been quoted into the internal forum discussions. And here I can say to everybody who gave feedback on the forum about us to vote, thank you so much because that was that was so, so useful to us. Yeah. And uh, we, we can certainly testify that because even in the week that we've had this prepared, we've had three or four books constantly updated <laughs> up to this point. So it's been really, really good. Uh, and of course, we'll put a link in the description uh, if you want to go and look at that um, this week as this is the week it's been uh, released. December 23, for, if anybody's watching this in 10 years' time. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. it. But, uh, uh, We're still relevant thought... in 10 years' time? What? Oh, absolutely. We're more relevant. <laughs> it's mate. an accident. I clicked it more relevant. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, yeah. Fair <laughs> 2033 is our year, mate. I don't know whether I said um, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, we'll, we'll get cracking straight away with I guess the armies that we've chose. Now, all 16 are available uh, with the mm -hmm. Essence of War book, and you can see this book here. Uh, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. scroll through a little bit of the, mm -hmm. the thing on the on the mod, uh, So, mm -hmm. which is really cool. We're, of course, using TTS as well, for those of you mm -hmm. that uh, this shoot for you that, that know. But yeah, so a whole book of it with 16. Um, the book itself, if we do a bit of an introduction, has the obviously the rules, um, a little bit of the uh, background for factions as well, so a bit of the fluff, similar to how Ninth Age has now introduced it after all this time uh, yeah. into those books. Um, but also, you have two versions of Essence of War as well. You have the basic rules, which is uh, the ultra introduction, and mm -hmm. the armies themselves, if I can scroll down quickly enough, um, have uh, auto armies, uh, mm -hmm. uh, pre-selected armies. Patrols, um, aren't they? Patrols is a good yeah. way, yes. and the official way of, of saying that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so there's they're a, preset a... models, preset units that you take to learn how to play the basic game, so that yeah. when you advance to advanced, we have a little bit more control over the models you take in your 
army patrol, advanced patrol. Um, yeah. And um, you can play around yeah. with it a bit more, with a bit more confidence. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So looking at um, this on the, the first one, the Beast Herds patrol uh, is a mm. preset. It's one page uh, per army, which is really, really good, really handy. So you print it out, uh, have it have it done uh, to hand, uh, and there's all the rules and stuff, and they come in units. And... Sweet. So Beast Herds, we've just seen the patrol. Yeah. And this is the advanced version. Uh, and um, this is basically where you get to start thinking about uh, picking your army and you come up with a, a set uh, version, a set uh, points limit. And within that points limit, try and pick an army from the selection. So you sort of, you can see immediately the uh, difference from introduction to starting to get into the ninth age fantasy battles and then obviously progressing to fantasy battles with a whole selection of everything um but yeah that's where essence of war comes in and uh is really good and so we have picked some armies today uh we are uh, going for um orcs and goblins and oh, yeah. saurian <laughs> ancients versus alliance. highborn elves and highborn elves because there's three yeah. more. So boom, yeah, absolutely. Boom. So we're gonna go first. Uh, we're gonna first talk about the the armies that we've got that that we have picked. Um, we went for as a uh, eight hundred point per army, uh, which yep. means uh, sixteen hundred per team. Um, but all having and, to. Uh... Yeah, and this this is quite a new thing, right? Because we usually don't play team yeah. team games. So this is something that you can expect to find in the new in the new rules for Essence of War. We want people to band up and play together. And I know if you have two good friends and if you have one good enemy, then, you know, the two good <laughs> friends <laughs> can take on the Which annoying Which is pretty much guy. what we're doing today, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, well, yeah. Well, no reference <laughs> to actual circumstances. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes when people start playing, some some players have a larger collection, some other players, are, players have a smaller collection. And sometimes there's three friends who want to play, and it's not just two at the same time. So we try to create rules to accommodate for for this kind of situation, and so that's why we have this first first ever coalition game online yes. from Essence of War. No, nowhere else than on the PTG channel, right? Of course, yeah. of course. Sorry. And what, and while we're talking about channels, actually, um, what in, obviously we've got all our content on here, uh, but also do check out Veil of the Ages, which is uh, yeah. your channel. Uh, to tell you. yeah. and that has uh, uh, essence of war focus. It's safe to say, mm-hmm. um, with yeah. uh, a lot of the stuff that's happened in the past, and maybe mm-hmm. some stuff coming in the future as well. Which we, is want more. we want more. Yeah, it will happen. this is it this will. is our way of uh, <laughs> making it happen. Uh, the well, nudge. So. Yeah, absolutely. We're just hooking um, him in. We're drawing him in. And, you know, there we go. He's back. And it's it's online forever, saying that it's going to happen. So that's yeah, that's the way it happens. Um, but yes, so uh, do go check out that. Like, share, subscribe on that one as well, uh, and of course uh, on all of them at the comments. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go through the models uh, that uh, Mister Hypogee has picked yeah. for orcs and goblins, uh, and then we'll also look at the. Um, uh, options that he's chosen from as well uh, afterwards. But first, we'll look at the models and what lovely models we have. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, Tia, do you want to say um, who designed these models? Actually. Oh Why yes. Um... A big thank to Idum from the uh, from the Ninth Age forum. He prepared all of these models into tabletop simulator. So if you want to play with these miniatures, just uh, look for the link that the PTGs in the extreme wisdom will put into into the uh, description of the video, and you can get all of these models for free, and so that you can play with them in in Tabletop Simulator. He has extensive collections for a lot of factions for you just to click on and play with. Yeah, 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 uh, absolutely awesome. Thanks, yeah. looking look looking brilliant, um, and it, obviously he's done a lot of work just so that we can play this game, hasn't he? So. You know, brilliant work on his part. Um, so yeah, my orcs and goblins. Um, I've decided to go with, um, which is maybe a prelude to s- certain things coming up in the near future. Uh, but you. I have taken as my general the lady goblin Schnuzler. <laughs> um, she is a goblin demigog, demagog, uh, and she is riding a chariot. Um, a beastie chariot, which is one of the options that you can take for 
your mm-hmm. dobl- goblin demagogue, uh, mm-hmm. the general, my army. Um, mm-hmm. And um, yeah, you can see the stats that uh, she has. Um, mm-hmm. Her chariot also provides an extra couple of things, like you can see on the card there impact mm-hmm. hits, uh, grind, swift stride, that sort of thing which is mm-hmm. amazing. So she's going to lead her army with pride. Uh, she does like to be called the queen, does Snuzzler. <laughs> um, so, you know, I expect my ally to be uh, respecting her title. Uh, and then to, <laughs> to join her in this battle, I have decided to bring a big old bruising unit of veteran <laughs> orcs. Uh, nice. It's 20 of the little buggers. Um, you know, forget that there's goblins in charge. She has veteran orcs in her army. Mm-hmm. Um, twenty of them in a five by four formation. Um, uh, and um, yeah, they're they're complete with the the latest um orc and goblin uh rule book. So they've got you know brood, brood rivalry and warborn. Um, and these guys, which I found particularly interesting, have a bit of fighting extra rank, which is kind of it's kind of like saying that they're armed with spears without actually having to say they're armed with spears, which is something that Essence of War does so well generally. Yeah. Is that like people who are more familiar with the the Ninth Age rules can work out these are guys that have got spears from the main game, but in essence, it doesn't overcomplicate it by saying these are the extra rules for spears. It just incorporates them into the the stat line, which is amazing. Mm. Um, similarly I, I really in that. later regard for great weapons for example it will in the stat yeah. profile have a bigger strength than maybe their base strength is uh, but exactly it will that. adjust all the stats accordingly agility etc mm. so yeah. basically what you have on the card is all you need which is fantastic yes yeah exactly so yeah um, the queen schnuzzler is uh, bringing along a big unit of veteran spears um, veteran orc spears, and then what would my army be without a big unit of trolls? I mean, I, I I've been waiting for the opportunity to play trolls for a <laughs> long time. Again, it was something I'd done a few years back, and yeah, I've just bought a big unit of three by two um, yeah. <laughs> trolls. Uh, they are res five, like the kind of army book for orcs and goblins. They are they are just tough. <laughs> really, really tough. And I've I've gone very basic in this Orcs and Goblins army. It's just two units of combat and one general who says fight. Yeah. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how much my opponent is going to be able to take of their <laughs> of their aggressive goodness. Yeah. There we absolutely. go. That's that would be the Orcs. Goblins. Yeah. Not no, uh, only one goblin, the queen. One thing to note, just going back to the chariot and the chariot stats, um, the grind, for example, is not something you would normally see on the chariot. That's the way of getting in uh, the chariot's mm. actual attacks from the either mount or the other people that might be on the the, the chariots yeah. in general, obviously not in this case. So he's got uh grind two, strength three, AP one, that's refers basically mm-hmm. to the wolves. Yeah. Makes that all the better. Uh, makes it yeah, a bit makes easier it to understand. Survive. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There you go. That is one half of my coalition. Um over to Teo for the I'm um, excited the half. for the second half. And uh, suddenly there's not a third half or a fourth half. Mm-hmm. We can always use more. But I think that when uh, even without knowing what IBG was going to be fielding, yes. I also thought that I wanted some punch. And so I didn't go for fancy things. There's also no shooting at all. There is some magic, though. Mm-hmm. But let's proceed with order. Number one, Anirarch Archmage. That's the, uh, I mean, let's call it the general. It's not really the general because there is no such thing in a hive mind army <laughs> like the uh, <laughs> like the Solar Nations. But, you know, there's this, there's this very good spell cast uh, here that you can see floating around and he's going to be floating i mean i'm just going to pop it here right now for the moment into the units of uh tegu warriors right this is a special combination that you can have for some units in essence of war uh it's it's not very uh common but it's also not uh, limited to certain agents only you can put some characters into the uh units and what is special to the uh, Southern Nation is that you can put this guy in the second rank so that they're a bit protected because this guy is honestly not made for combat. I mean, look at the guy. He's really not made for... A squishy for... frog. It's just a frog. It's just a frog. Uh, so, we should yeah. say, cool frog. when you do put um, a character in a unit, whether it's regarding the second rank 
or later on, as you'll see uh, in the first rank, um, they replace the models rather than changing the formation or anything like that. So uh, exactly. you've got a, si a six by four, you just replace four of the models to put him in there. You can, of course, not replace them and put him out on his own, but then he's a squishy uh -huh. frog, as we've said. So you <laughs> run that risk. Um, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you you lose some models, you lose some of the attacks that you would normally have, but you give the uh, you give the units you give the your character a bit more protection, let's say. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the anarch. So the anarch is going to be a um, well. Let me show you the card. It's going to be a master mm. uh, wizard, and it's going to use uh, it's going to use um, druidism. As as the mm. as the spell casting, so it's going to have all three units from uh, all three spells from druidism, which is going to be very nice because it's going to be protecting, uh, especially yeah. the, uh, the other the other units. Uh, this is also this guy is also carrying a uh, special item, and let me quickly show you these items in the vault. The vault, right? yeah. Right, the vault is this page on the uh, in, in the rule book that details all of the special enchantments that characters can take, and especially this guy here is carrying the very last item, which is the obsidian rock, twenty five points. Uh, enemy spells targeting the model's unit suffer minus two to their casting attempts. So this is basically making the Tegu unit that is hosting the Anorark a bit more resilient against the magic from the uh, from the Hypo. Mm. So as for myself, uh, as I said, I do have the uh, the Druidism. I'm not going to go into uh, the details of the spells. I'm just going to show you here on the screen what these, these spells are. There's one spell that makes your opponent weaker, Entwining Brutes. There's one uh, spell that makes your units more resilient, healing waters, by giving them some magical protection. And there's one final unit, a spell that uh, deals damage to your opponent's master of earth. So uh, a, a hex, a buff, and a damage spell. Nice. Nice mix. Now. So let's then go to the uh, units. We have one large, very large block of Tegu warriors. Uh, these are very solid. There's 24 of them, very large block. But then again, I'm going to lose four because I'm going to put the Anirak into, into them. Um, they, can, they can defend themselves very well. And they have this very important rule called uh, communal bond. Uh, this is a, a feature of the uh, new Saurian ancient uh, army, which where every unit is helping every friendly unit around pass discipline test. So there's no general that's controlling everything, but every unit is helping uh, all of the other units that are uh, sitting next to them. And what would this other unit sitting next to them be? Well, that's the case for our raptors, right? So we have the raptors here. It's uh, 10 of them. These are basically, I mean, we are using the models with the riders on top, but you can also imagine it's only the big, uh, large lizard at the bottom. They are very fast for a lizard, I suppose. <laughs> Advanced 7 and March 14. Uh, they also have communal bonds and swift stride because of the fastness, the, 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 the fast movement. And they also have poison, which means that uh, sometimes they can skip the need to roll to wound yeah. the enemy. They can automatically wound, even if it's just a superficial scratch, a flesh a flesh wound, as the, Absolutely. as the story goes, right? So, yeah, basically the Tegu warriors are going to be having Discipline 7 and giving their Discipline 7 to the unit of Raptors if they are within eight inches range. And that's basically the story. If I may add before passing the baton to the uh, to the high bond, uh, this is relevant, this is important because if we are playing in a in a coalition game, one rule is that my units and hyper G's units are gonna count as friendly units for all purposes, for example, the casting of spells and the resolution of combat and so on, except for discipline. So basic, basically panic, 
the effect of the general giving the discipline to uh, to everybody else. And, well, the battles and the barrier rally around the flag, we don't have it in this game, so we don't have to worry yeah. about that. The, the, uh, yeah, the the battle standard bearer is an item, I think, uh, uh, yes. in the yeah, vault. The so uh, we, we've got <clears throat> excuse me, relatively small armies, so we, we don't have too many items on our characters. Um, I think, actually, yeah. we've only got one between us, um, uh, or two, actually. Um, but, yeah, so that is a, a class as an item that you can put on all your, uh, all your, all your heroes that cannot be your general so that's how you get around it and again just a simplified version to work it into the game uh but also just not to rules bloat anything um and if we go back to the uh saurian ancient um, advanced list um mm -hmm. on the, in the book what we'll do is we'll see what you could have chosen uh as well mm -hmm. uh, right, in that regard let's do that. Uh, and then we'll do the orcs as well while we're here before we move on to the highborn. So as you can see, we've got um, uh, the Skinks and Iraq are the two characters. Uh, Carnosaur, which is very cool. And the fact you, uh, and bigger armies, you can probably have him in a raptor pack as well, which is that top one on the right. Mm -hmm. um, then mm -hmm. Spearback, Tiggy Warriors have already got, and some Kaimans and Skinks as well. So uh, again, yeah. one page for the whole army uh, options. Uh, which is really I, good. What I love about it as well, sorry to interrupt you there, like six no, minutes, please. Is, is the fact that even even though there's not a huge amount of units to choose from, the options that you can come out with are pretty much endless. Like there's mm -hmm. so much playability just yeah. within those eight choices. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. It really is. It's <laughs> it's it, it's really well done, and and the balance amongst. Um, amongst the army that you come out with it is so good it's, it's yeah I, yeah I, I could go on a long while just saying about <laughs> the structure but i shouldn't because i'll i'll hijack this video but yeah uh absolutely <laughs> and if we go to orcs which i'm uh, just uh, i mean i'm flicking between them so you might get to see some yeah. we go to orcs uh they had a shaman uh option uh i, I chose big... not to the queen chose, wouldn't yeah have a she wouldn't she would <laughs> uh you've got a guardian behemoth as a uh a, a bigger Item you've got iron orcs, trolls, goblin rabble, feral orc, and veteran orc. So you've got lots of options within there as well. And again, on the thing, so um, yeah, that sort of shows you what you could choose, but obviously, with 800 points, um, not a lot uh, uh, there. So we've, we've given a selection here, yeah, yeah, really cool. Cool. So I guess, uh, moving on to the highborns, uh, and uh, I, I, I we We'll get into the second highborn list in a second, um, but the first highborn list, knowing that I am the general for both, I probably could only I, I should only pick one magic for one or whatever. So I had a bit of uh, insider knowledge, as you know, the intrigue of the highborns uh, would imagine. Uh, but my general for my first highborn list is uh, the commander huntsman on a uh, chariot, and uh, you can see the stats there. He's um, Basically, if we go in actually probably to the highborn list uh, there, you can see that the commander has several options. He could be either a Queen's Cavalier or a Royal Huntsman. And both of those, if you go to the top bit, have a different option for what they could be. So effectively, they're giving him different mounts uh, and different uh, abilities as well. But um, yeah, uh, being a Royal Huntsman, he's on a Lion Chariot. Uh, with which gives him fear and multiple wounds too against towering. Now, unfortunately, there are no towering, uh, but he's still, <laughs> you know, he's still good. He's still good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's the the, the commander. Uh, then we have the um, the archers. The two lots of five archers. I went a different way. I went uh, smaller units and more. Is yes. what, where I went. So we've got we've got the two big bulky armies and for the most part for the high elves they've gone the smallest option uh, squishy to have more of them squishy elves that but more everywhere uh, archers for a bit of range very good um uh, being uh, no uh negative thing for long range as well so accurate in the long mm -hmm. range um, in the big book uh, but yeah, so uh, some strength three bows coming at you. Uh, and then we've got some flame wardens, which we know from a bit of playtesting before. I've actually had a good <laughs> amount of success with the flame wardens. Um, oh, that's a slice of there. Uh, but yeah, uh, so the flame wardens have a four of pages. Again, if we go to this, um, the 
four of pages is very very handy um which would yes. be interesting against the trolls that'd be good yeah. um but yeah um, fighting x rank as well and uh five by three so 15 of them uh so not too killy but survivable tanky um so yeah that's i have that. to say um, that these models that you that you showed us yeah uploaded by idum so i think that yeah. these are the models that he painted and he 3d oh, wow. scanned himself and then he put it there it's like can you imagine having the miniature that you have at home and then you paint it That's and then really you take cool. pictures you get the model and then you play it online and then you give it to your friends so that mm. somebody in a different country and somebody in a different continent can play with the miniatures that you have painted yeah. it's really cool. fire yeah awesome. man. Uh, so that's the highborn elves, as you traditionally know them, and we now have mm. um, the pearl navy option. Now, the, the reason we chose this as well, um, which I'll, I'll pass over to you, uh, Patelio, is that um, the auxiliary side of things in terms of essence of war, which some of you may have been thinking about. Yeah, definitely. So you know that in the ninth age we have sixteen factions. And each of these factions, they have, uh, I don't know, maybe some 20 unit entries and so on. And as we were saying before, we have reduced that to only eight so so that they can fit in, into a single page. And that's a bit of a loss. It's nice. It's very nice because everything is very compact and you know who you're playing against. You don't have to read a 25 pages book because that's your opponent's <laughs> book. And when you go to a tournament, there's like 25 pages times 15. And it's you know a bit bit too much to keep in your head if you do other things in life. I would say <laughs> I don't know how tournament players do that. <laughs> yeah. but so you know we simplify things, but when you simplify things, you remove options. And so as we said, like out of the twenty units that you have in the Hibernels book for fantasy battles, you're only left with eight in Essence of War. And we don't want that. We think we want things to be simple, but we don't want things to be limited. And so that's why we made a selection of eight more units that you can find in the uh, Hibonel's Fantasy Battles book. And I don't know if you can see this now on the screen. I put it out. I put it up from the because this is not present in the in the rule book. So I put it up as a, sec a separate file. We created a new army list that contains uh, some of the units that were excluded, like the Reavers, like the Sea Guards, like the Reaver Chariots, like the Fleet Officer, the Sky Sloop. So this has clearly a Navy uh, theme, which is something very important for Hybern Elves, mm. um, given, like, you know, if you know what Hybern Elves represent into the Ninth Age universe based on the history of the planet Earth, and of Western civilizations, you would understand why the Hybern means need the kind, the kind of powerful navy, right? So yeah, essentially we have created a new sub faction for Hybern elves that you can use to expand your um, regular Hybern elves collection. And you know, we can't wait to do the work. Just you know, get our sleeves up and do the same. For the remaining factions in yeah. in the main book, so that we just bring new units uh, for people to play with, basically. And we decided to start with Hyper Nails because you know you have to start somewhere. And I was going to play a battle it's, with the PTGs. It's the worst, but, uh, but one to start with, to be quite. Uh, <laughs> get the worst you know? out the way, and then you can enjoy yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm one with you. I'm with you. See. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine imagine if I had created an, an, an additional arm list for Orcs and Goblins. I would have had to play together with Lucky ah, Sixes. Who wants to do that? No, right? no, no that. true, true. No, yeah, no, I see no. your thinking now. I'm with you. I'm with you. Genius. Never doubt. Nice. But yeah, in so terms what's in of, this Pearl Navy? Yeah, in terms of the army, I've got the mage because we've got a bit of magic so that we can see a bit of magic on each side. Um, so he's uh, a bog standard. Uh, mage um, as as the high ones go uh, we've got our sea guard of course um who uh are from the navy from the navy. <laughs> um uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah so again more shooting so i've got a decent amount of shooting uh, on my side so we'll see if that pays off um the sky sloop uh is going to be uh adding to that as well i think it might be four oh no 
change the thing. Um, yeah, the Sky Sloop is um, a shooty chariot, uh, so it does have some impact hits, uh, but its main thing is going to be the Sky Reaper shot for strength 5, AP 3 shots every turn, which would be very nice. Uh, and then finishing it off, um, one of my favourite units in, in the high ones that I don't take it often enough, um, is the Swordmasters. Uh, again, going down the route of as many, trying to fit in as many different things as possible, uh, the smaller version of 5 by 2 but still pack a punch. Shrimp 5, uh, 2 no attacks do. each, 15 attacks there. Uh, should be going first as well, actually, 6, but we shall see. Um, and, yeah, so a, a, essentially a good amount of shooting all round with some punch uh, and an anvil in the Flame Warden. So as much as we I could physically fit in <laughs> to the 800 points is where we went. And uh, if we see, uh, we'll do another quick look at the options. Ooh. Again, pressing the wrong buttons. Um, so, yeah, the Highborns could have had a, an issue initiate of the Fiery Heart, which I was desperate to do, but we didn't quite have <laughs> the points limit. You can only have a, a maximum of 50% on that left side uh, combined, so we couldn't quite fit it in. Uh, but next time, next time. Uh, and then also we got some Lancers, uh, Knights of Rhyma, which is very cool, and some uh, Spearmen. Uh, as well as options for that uh, and you've seen the options for the Pearl Navy so uh, we have plenty of things to choose from and this is where we sort of uh, leave it before we have our battle ourselves so we go and yeah. flex do our stretches yeah, before the actual fighting starts you know I, yeah. I get to have a team talk to myself which is the best kind of team talk <laughs> uh, in, in, in my eyes um, yeah. as well uh, but yeah, so uh, basically do go check out The Essence of War this week, because it'll out, be out this week on the forums, on the downloads. I'm sure it'll have a new section post uh, as well. Um, I'll put as many links as I can physically fit into the description. Uh, so have a look on there and that should get you to some. But if not, the forum is the best place to find Essence of War. Of course, other than our channel, PTG, <laughs> uh, like she yeah. and the Veil of Ages, which have been, I think, contracted in to uh, another year's worth of uh, <laughs> roped into uh, stuff. But definitely, absolutely. speaking of channels, I definitely want everybody to write down in the comments what you expect this game will look at at the end yeah. of the fifth turn. Because, you know, mm. it's the Saurian Ancient and Ox and Goblins Coalition going to do damage to the Highborn. There's going to be a prize. It's going to be a prize for the for the the user who writes the closest uh, uh, bet to the to the the closest um, uh, you know the result. result result description prospected prospected result close to the, the the actual the actual result in the comments. But you have to do that before yeah. we post uh, before we post <laughs> the, the battle, Absolutely. right? Which we're going to check the timestamps. Which our, our viewers are very good at. I must admit, they're very good at commenting. Yes, so. But for this one, we want you to ultra comment uh, with predictions. Uh, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, maybe you've seen some options that I've quickly gone over in the army list as well. Uh, what you like about that. What you like about the idea of the um, uh, patrols versus yeah. the, the basic versus the advanced as well. Any and all comments about SMU throw War. throw some of your armies at us as well. If you've if you've had a look at this book and you've got yeah. some uh, armies that you've put together, um, always interesting to see how people build their armies. Mm. Absolutely. So that is a, a quick introduction to what we've got and what we've got coming up lined up. Uh, also, an introduction to Essence of War in its entirety. Uh, do go check out our old videos. There might be um, some slight tweaks in rules and stuff, but it, the concept is still the same, and we've got plenty of those. And as I said, Veil of the Ages for all the in-depth knowledge uh, coming straight from the person uh, you know involved in the team, and it is a team effort as well. You're the, the you general, to... yeah. <laughs> as per the book, thanks yeah. to Edem um, for the models as well as we said, uh, Cal Cathin as well, who might be making an appearance later on in the channel, and all the rest of the team. Uh, I'll let you sign the awesome out. job. Fine um, lads. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Uh, like, share, subscribe, as we said. And uh, until next time, where we'll be getting See stuck you in, in battle. See you soon. Yeah.